Hey, how you all doing? Welcome to this app walkthrough. The app is called Screen Grabber, and basically what it does, it allows you to take a live photo um, or a video and export or capture a frame or a part of the video um, in high definition or high resolution, shall we say, and export that to wherever you want to export it to. When you first open the app, this is the screen that you get greeted with, um, and it just ask you to get started, just highlights at the bottom that your videos actually do indeed remain private as well. Um, so once you click get started, you then um, have the standard pop-up, do you want to allow it access to your photos? You can either select the photos or allow access to all, just allow access to all, it's much simpler. So then every time you open the app after this, you will be greeted with your videos timeline. So let me just select a video. So what you will then notice is that the video starts playing right away. I can press pause on the left hand side or I could just use the time, um, the, the, the time timeline at the bottom and just scrub as you would with any normal sort of video editor. So I'm going to give you a full walkthrough of this. So the video just does start playing right away. And then these little arrows on the left hand right, they are just to skip along. And then we have the um, download, export or share button. I'll talk more about that in a second. When I get to the place there or thereabouts, what I can actually do is click the little um, clock on the right hand side and then I can choose to go half of the scrub speed that I was going, a quarter, fine or snail's pace um, of the scrub speed that I was going. So let's just choose fine. And now if I use the arrows, the arrows moving around still at the same time look but my scrub speed when I use my finger and scrub along is much slower so now what we can do three little dots at the top right hand side so then we're greeted with the settings um, view if we look at the metadata on the image it just show you where um, and all the normal metadata that you would um, use with an image you can choose to export the metadata or not export the metadata with the image export that you choose. So um, let me choose export the metadata and then you can choose the image format, um, HF or JPEG, which are the most widely supported. And then the quality, the quality would probably be on like 90, 95%, just ramp it up to 100% because you want the best quality, right? Um, and then you can choose where to export it to. Do you want to export it to directly to your photos or do you want to use the share sheet? You know, the share sheet, the one that you can use to airdrop or send it to um, WhatsApp or something like that. Um, and then you can use the time format, milliseconds or frames. I still prefer to work in frames because I work in frames on every other vi video imaging or edit editing tool that there is. So I'm now just going to click, remember I've selected my photos that it exports to, select the export, you'll have a little pop up really quickly to show that it's exporting you know, to your photos. And then if I wanted to, I could go into Lightroom and put a mask on it and give it a better vignette and brighten the center of the image. So I could sharpen it up a little bit more. But you can see that that image is nice and tack sharp. Um, so yeah, that's um, that's Frame Grabber. Hope you enjoyed this video. Go over and get it, it's completely free. Take care, catch you all soon.